In this video, we look at the alternative scrolling tweak called Flick Scroll. Flick Scroll is based on a concept that basically says it would be better if you could flick to a specific area of the screen wherever your finger was flicking from. So basically, say I put my finger here, right where it says developer Alan Kerr, and I just flicked up. Well, Flick Scroll says that that should be at the very top of the page when I flick up. So I can basically gesture directly to the point in the page where I want the page to stop. And it won't just keep scrolling um, like normal, right? So let me just show you here. Instead of just scrolling up and it continued and continuing to scroll, I'll just flick up directly from where it says developer Alan Kerr, and it should be around that area near the top of the page. So just watch this. Uh, it wasn't exactly, but you get the point. Let's try it again. Okay, that's a little better. So you just want to do a flick, and, and it works at the bottom as well. So I can flick up near the top. Yeah, Alan Kerr is sort of near the top. It could have been right about, about there. That would have been better. But I'm going to flick down now and see if I can get that lined up with the bottom of the page here. It's pretty close, right? But you see the point. It's basically allowing you to flick to a specific area of the screen so that you can line that up near the top of the screen. So... For instance, cylinder, say I wanted to flick up right where it says cylinder here. I could even start here if I wanted to and just flick up and that should put a cylinder near the top of the page. It should be a little closer, I think, but um, we'll try to flick down this time. And you can see it's pretty much near the bottom of the page. So instead of having this basic infinity scroll where you scroll and it keeps going until it stops, um, this will allow you to flick to a specific place on the screen. So it's definitely a, a good concept, uh, a good idea, a great idea actually, but I find that it just the implementation isn't exactly perfect yet. And again, this is just the initial version that just appeared on Cydia Flick Scroll. So probably gonna give it some time to uh, improve, but as it stands, like the concept is great. Like I love the idea of being able to flick scroll. The only problem is that this messes with your normal scrolling. Uh, in the concept video that was shown on the uh, tweaks page in Cydia, basically show that you could still normally scroll if you wanted to do that, but I find that I can't really normally scroll. Um, all of my scrolls result in a flick scroll sort of gesture there. Um, even if I don't intend and I kind of hold a little longer on the screen and scroll, it's still not a buttery smooth scroll like we're used to. Um, so yeah, there's something to keep in mind. Now, with that being said, there is a preference panel for flick scroll that you'll find. Let's just find that. Again, this flicking, uh, as you can see, happens everywhere where there's a scrollable view. So even in the settings. So let's go to flick scroll and you can see there's an option where it says need two fingers. So if you don't like the idea of that interfering with your normal scrolling, you just want to get your old scrolling back. Looks like it's still kind of that's not as bad. Uh, yeah, that's more fluid. That's more what we're used to. Uh, so that's just a normal one finger scroll. But if you won't flick scroll back, you would use a two finger gesture like this. So if I say I wanted the I download blog jailbreak tweak of the year heading to be right at the top, I would just flick. Well, let's try it again. Oh, didn't quite work there. Let's try bio lockdown. Let's see. Two finger. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to get that working. Um, but you're going to have to practice that. So let's see. Yeah, it's just not as responsive with the two finger scroll there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the idea is great though. Trust me. Like if, if the developer can, can get this idea down, like the concept, make it, make it actually work exactly as described, this would be an amazing tweak. I'm going to turn off needs two fingers. Let's try a different, let's try, let's go back to the settings app here, actually. Let's just scroll down in the settings. Ooh, that's not good. All right, so you see a bug there. That's ugly. All right, so that's not good. So basically there's a bug there. Uh, so let's keep that in mind. I probably wouldn't recommend getting it yet, or if you're going to get it, get it with the intention of hoping that the developer, who has a pretty good reputation, I think I've had some of his tweaks before, but get it with the intention that this is going to be hopefully updated uh, and continue to to progress as time goes on because the concept itself is actually really good. The ability to flick to a specific spot on the screen if you're reading a long article or something like that, it just gives you more control so you don't have to go in, you know, for instance, say you want it to line up 
controllers for all the tops. You don't have to go in and be really meticulous about getting it just right. Like if you normally scroll up, sometimes you'll just go past the point where you want to go. Well, Flick Scroll, in theory, would allow you to line it up perfectly. So if the developer can get the alignment down right, this will be an amazing tweak, I'm telling you. Uh, it is Flick Scroll. It is available right now for $1.49. I also recommend that you watch the video because I don't know how good of a job I did describing this tweak or the way it should actually work. I tried my best, but it's kind of difficult. So what I recommend you do is just go into the Cydia page before you even purchase the tweak. Just go to the Cydia page for Flick Scroll and then watch this video right here because it's a really good demonstration and that video really shows how promising this concept really is. So it's $1.49 on Cydia. It is Flick Scroll, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.